was Luna, and today I'm going to show you exactly how I created her, but not only that, how I created her first music video debut. So if you haven't seen this video, I highly recommend you do, because this is the one that we'll be referencing today. Now, in order to make this video, I had to do a lot of trial and error. I tried literally every single AI app out there, and I burned through a lot of tokens. I wanted to do all of this, that way you wouldn't have to. And after completing the whole entire process, I was finally able to narrow down the best tools to use and the ones that performed the best for each task I went through. Okay, now let's start. Now this might be arguably the most important part of this whole entire thing, and that's gonna be organization. Now I use Airtable for all of my prompt storage, all of my images, everything imaginable when it comes to AI. Check the links in the description for the ultimate mega prompts databases, plus thousands of awesome prompts. Now you can see I use this specific base right here to pick and choose what prompts I want to use and the sort of images and character consistency. Okay, so that's where you need to have at least some sort of a tool to be able to break down scene by scene what image and prompt you want to use for each scene. And that is why these prompt databases come in so handy. The one you're looking at right here is my mega prompts database, which has over 5,000 plus prompts and counting. Right now I am on the AI art one, but you'll notice at the very top we have all sorts of categories. I could go through each and every image, pick out my favorites, and then copy and paste one of these prompts over here into my music video organizer for Luna, my new AI influencer. So check the links in the description and you can get access to these databases as well. So which brings us to the next step, and that is going to be character consistency. Now I recommend two apps, both Leonardo AI and Midjourney, but now that Midjourney has their actual website available to all to use, that one has done a very good job and that is where we are over here there are just countless images of my AI influencer so let me just show you very quickly in mid journey how to create character consistency now the first thing you'll do let's go ahead and then just select a simple prompt right now I'm gonna use this prompt okay I selected it it automatically appears up here in mid journey right now now select this little photo icon in the top left hand corner simply now select the image you want to use for character consistency now here is what gets very important on the actual actual image right here, you'll notice a little icon in the bottom right hand corner. This will give you what each one does. The paper clip is used as style reference or dash dash S-R-E-F. And then the one, the very first one is used as character reference or dash dash C-R-E-F. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna make sure we have this icon right here, this little icon of this person. We wanna make sure we have that selected. That's gonna give us character consistency. Now with this prompt right here, I'm using her as my character consistency. Okay, so for the next step, let's say we wanna use two images at the same time. We're gonna use one image for character reference, but let's just say I wanna open up this image right here. Now, this is actually one of my favorite videos that I got generated with Runway Emil. So let's say I want to use this specific style, okay? What we'll do is upload this image. We can also use the prompt as well for a little bit of help. So let's go ahead and copy this prompt, head back over here into Midjourney, and let's paste that prompt in. Now the next thing we'll do is let's select our image again, our character reference one, select that person icon, but now let's go ahead and select a second image. Just simply click it. Okay, now it appears up here. Now what we're gonna do is now make this one as this paperclip icon. And now one more very important detail. Over here on the right, I'm gonna open up this menu. Make sure you have landscape selected. You want it to be able to appear on the whole screen. Now let's look at our final results from the first one. Look how good of a job that these images did for me. Every single image was perfectly done. Now I wanna show you very quickly Free Pick Expand because if you do have an already existing image, let me just quickly show you how good of a job Free Pick Expand can actually do. All you have to do is simply just drag a photo or upload it directly within this window right here. You could tell right away that this image is definitely not gonna fill or look right in a YouTube video. Let's come over here now on the left-hand side, look at all these options we have, and then there it is. There is 16, nine. Now you could see that it gives me a lot of space on the both left and right, and then watch how good of a job this actually does. Just like that, look how quick. Now, we have 16 options to choose from. Now you have, within seconds, 
an expanded image. Okay, so now the next step would be converting image to video. Generating lip sync videos, in my opinion, does do a little bit of a better job when you're doing video to video as opposed to image to video. But let me first give you a quick tip on how to actually do this in a pretty fast way. So what I'll do is come back over here into Leonardo AI. Let's open up this one right here and now select image to motion. I'm gonna move my strength a little bit further to the left. All you need is just a four to five second clip, but now we're reaching the important part. Now let's really take our video up a notch. The first tool I'm in is over here in Luma Labs. Look how amazing this did right here. This one is very impressive. It got everything perfectly, a little distortion, a little blurriness, but for the most part, pretty impressive, especially this one right here with the turning around, the 360 effect. Her face changed a little bit, but nonetheless, still pretty impressive. Let's go back over here to this database. I'm going to copy this prompt right here. This is the image I started with to do a consistent character. That is the original image. And then this is the image I actually ended up getting in mid journey. Okay. So let's use this one as a reference point for Luma labs. All you have to do is just simply click and drag it right over here. Okay. There it is appearing now paste that same exact prompt in. So that's one way we went over Leonardo AI motion. We also did Luma labs, but now I'm actually saving the best for last for generating image to video. And that's going to be gen three in runway ML. If you're not familiar with runway ML or gen three, this is probably my favorite AI video tool right now. Now, when I made this video in runway ML, look how amazing of a job that this did again from the original image. Let me pull that back up as a reference. Okay. There is the original image. All I did was give runway ML this image and then the prompt. And now she's moving perfectly. Okay. Look in the beginning, look how her eyes squint down and she kind of has that look shy look phenomenal job. Okay. Now you could see here is all of the trial and error I did just with this AI influencer in runway ML. I went through a lot of tokens, but hopefully you won't have to. Okay. I'll open up this one right here. Again, this one did a phenomenal job as well in runway ML. What we'll do now is I came back over here to Luma labs, spin two minutes. It's still generating. Let me just show you very quickly how good and how quickly gen three i'm gonna go ahead and select get started now let's come back over here and figure out what sort of a prompt we want to use now so what i'll do is i'm gonna go ahead and then upload this image right here let's see how good of a job runway can do i'm gonna click and drag it there it is. Now down here at the bottom, let's just describe what our shot is. Now, one thing I really like about runway is it gives us these good examples. If I select example, I have all these ones I could choose from and get started pretty quickly. So if I use over the shoulder, it's going to give me just some blanks to fill in. But what I'll do is just give it something simple. Basically just look at the image and just give it a sentence or two of what the image basically is. It's that simple. Beautiful Asian woman driving a car in a futuristic cyberpunk city, bulk of effect, neon lights, cars moving in the background. That is literally all you have to do. Then just go ahead and now select a generate. Perfect. Now, while this is thinking, let's open up an additional window. First, let's go back to Luma Labs. It's been four minutes. It's still generating. You'll notice this though, in Gen 3, it's already starting to process. It's at 5%. Okay, so now our video already appears to be done and it literally took two and a half minutes. Okay, so there it is right here. Let's see how Luma is doing. And as you can see, seven minutes have passed. It's still generating generating that video. It does do a good job. I won't complain, but I do love how Gen 3 is much quicker. Here is our video of Luna. Let's hit that play button and see how good of a job it did. Now that is incredibly impressive. Look at the details. Look how amazing that looks. Now this actually proves that a prompt is very important in the quality of the video you'll get from Gen 3. But like I told you, it doesn't have to be any sort of extremely professional sort of a prompt. Look at the image and then just describe what you see in the image. The more details, the better. I can also hit extend right here and extend it. I'll download this, but watch this. Now, if you want to go ahead and use this video, you can go ahead and right away from within Gen 3, select a lip sync. Okay. Either that, or you can open up a new tab and select the lip sync video. Here we are over here in lip sync and it's the same exact function. I just clicked and drag my video over here. Once it's in here, it automatically will detect to face in about 20 seconds. Now we want to actually choose our audio. In this case, we won't be typing it because we want to have it synced to a song. So just go ahead and click on upload audio. Now the same thing, 
click and drag any sort of audio that you have that has vocals into this box. Okay, now here we go. I'm gonna click and drag my audio file over here, let it hang tight, and then there it is. It automatically appears right here. Okay, let's go ahead and then give it a quick preview. I'll select this play button. I'm on the winding road. Okay, now we're good to go. We made sure that was the right song. Now all you have to do is down here in the bottom, hit that purple button that says generate, and then just like that. This will, again, only take two to five minutes max. It's already at 18%. Now I did mention earlier how to exactly find your music. In this case, this actual song was from Soundstripe. You could also use like an Epidemic Sound or even any AI music generator like a Suno or an Udio. Let's head back and see how good of a job this did with their lip sync. Here it is, it's already done. This took only four Four and a half minutes hit play let's go let's get lost in a dream wow i'm blown away that did a great job in fact i actually wish i had this in my music video of luna let's go over to a video editing tool in this case i'm going to use final cut pro but like i said you could use any tool of your choice as long as you can do some similar things i'm about to show you now that we're in final cut pro all i'm going to do now is click and drag the video i just got made okay so here is the first one right here i'm on the winding road Perfect. And then once you're in your editing tool, what you can do is add some different effects, anything that you want to kind of make the video stand out. I can use a specific overlay. Now it has raindrops. And that's where these editing tools will come in so handy to actually upgrade the way that your video is going to look. And now what we need to do for our final touch is actually sync everything up. Now that's just as simple as just overlaying your different clips in any editing software of your choice. So for an example, I'm going to bring this new clip in over here. Okay. Now you could see they are going to be both the same exact lip syncing. But you can also notice that it's going to be out of sync. You can either, depending on the tool you use, select both files and sync to clips and ultimately have just one audio file so it's going to be seamless. Or zoom in and line up the starting points to where they're both going to start at around the same time. And that way you can interchange both of them to play at certain times. Okay, so let's try this one more time. They look like they're both synced up. I'm on the winding they're both synced up perfectly. Now, what you can do is this. Select each lip sync video that you want to use at a time for certain areas. Okay, so here's an example. Let's just say for the first few seconds, we're going to use the bottom one. Okay, and then we want the second one to appear right around here. So that's what we're going to do. I can break these up a little bit, okay, by using the blade tool. I'll hide it right here. I'll do the same thing over here at the top. I'll cut it there, and then I will hide some of these portions just like this, okay? And hide the ones I wanna use in specific moments. So it should look something similar to this, to where whatever I say is playing at a certain moment, it's gonna go back and forth, but the audio is synced up. Here we go. I'm on the winding road. I don't know which way to go, but I know. So whenever you have your audio synced up, then you can just pick and choose when you want each part of the timeline, either the top or the bottom, to show. Now you can do similar things in CapCut, Canva, Premiere, or any tool that you're using, but as long as you're using some editing software that provides you with the ability to be able to cut up different clips and then click and drag them in different placements based on the lip sync video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll be the first to know when these videos come out.